just yell out when we're ready. Are you ready? You ready to go? All right. You ready to go? Yeah. Very good. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Wellington and I'm Chair of the Brisbane Lions and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all today to Michael Voss Oval and Brighton Homes Arena. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge the fact that we gather here today on the traditional lands of the Yagara and the Yugara language groups and their people and I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. I would like to make a special welcome today to the Honourable Anastasia Palaszczuk, Premier of Queensland, Minister for the Olympics and Paralympics, the Honourable Annika Wells, Federal Minister for Aged Care and Sport, Mayor Theresa Harding, Mayor of the City of Ipswich, and Richard Goiter, Chair of the AFL Commission. It's a very important day today for our club and our club stakeholders and the communities of Springfield and Ipswich because today we open our home for the first time and we welcome those communities into our home. This facility is a wonderful example of the three levels of government working together collaboratively with a sporting code being the AFL and a club being the Brisbane Lions to deliver an asset that's going to be a wonderful community facility. The Brisbane Lions are extremely proud to be able to deliver a facility of this type and we're extremely grateful for the support that we've received in making it happen. And doesn't it seem so appropriate that for a facility of this quality, we've got a quality event like an AFL Grand Final to kick things off? And on that note, I would like to invite Chair of the AFL Commission, Richard Goiter, to say a few words. Well, thanks, Andrew. And um, it's great to be here in um, Springfield today for what is an incredibly important day for the AFL. Um, this is um, a purpose-built AFLW facility, and it's a magnificent facility to support women's football and girls' football and it's also, of course, going to be the home of the Brisbane Lions. I just want to quickly want to thank people who have been responsible for making this happen because uh, uh, we can look today and say, gee, what an incredible facility, but it's taken a heck of a lot of work. So can I thank um, Ipswich, Ipswich City Council Mayor Theresa Harding for, where's Theresa, for your support, thank you. Uh, Premier Palaszczuk and Minister um, Sterling. Thank you. Hinchliff, thank you very much for the work you've done. And of course, Federal Minister Annika Wells, two best behaved children in the country, as I've said before. And as Andrew said, it's an incredible um, collaboration between three levels of government and then the Lions. Finally, I want to thank the Lions themselves, Jake, for the work you've done, Andrew Wellington and Greg Swan. It takes a lot to bring something like this to life and you guys have done an enormous amount to, to get it here today. So today will be a great celebration of women's football, a grand final, the first game at this facility, but I think we'll look back in years to come as to how significant this has been for football and women's football in this state. And I said just a few minutes ago, we think in a few short years, thank you Premier for saving our game in 2020, in a few short years we think there'll be 
more participants and supporters of AFL footy in Queensland than one of our heartland states, South Australia, which says a heck of a lot about where this game is going. So thank you very much and congrats, congratulations to everyone. Now, I think we're going to do a, an unveiling and then the Premier's going to speak, I think. Okay, I'll say um, just a few words and uh, hand over to the others and then we'll take a few um, quick questions because we have to go and do the official opening as well out on the stadium. So look, it's fantastic uh, to be here and uh, I want to thank uh, Richard and Andrew and as they said, this sport is growing in Queensland. 111,000 young girls and women are now playing AFL. At the end of the day, we want to see uh, young girls and young boys out there getting fit, being healthy. Uh, this stadium is, of course, a great example of all levels of government working together. And I want to thank uh, Minister Wells from the federal government and the mayor, Theresa Harding, for their contributions uh, to this project. And we've put in $18 million, uh, and that is absolutely money well spent. This is a growing part of our state, uh, Springfield. This is a world-class stadium right here uh, for the Lions, and no better way to open the stadium than to have the uh, AFL Grand Final for women. Uh, as I said, 111,000 uh, females play AFL in Queensland, 154,000 males. But what we saw is once we hosted the AFL Grand Final here, uh, we have seen record numbers of participation now for this sport uh, right across Queensland. So uh, that's a true testament for our legacy program that we put in from the AFL Grand Final. So also I want to thank um, uh, the people who worked on this project, a lot of local jobs in building the stadium. And uh, all I can say now is go the Lions. So I'll hand over to Minister Wells. Uh, Milton Dick, local federal member for Oxley. I want to thank the community for all of their support today. This is not only a great sporting asset for our wonderful athletes, but it's also a fantastic local community facility right here in a growth corridor throughout Greater Springfield. I want to thank the local state member, Cherie Smullen, who's worked so closely with our local schools, community and sporting clubs to make sure our community gets, a, gets their fair share, but we also get to celebrate all together. Big thank you to the Queensland Government for their leadership and also the Ipswich City Council to make sure three levels of government working together to make sure the Greater Springfield community continues to prosper, grow with a beautiful addition and infrastructure for our great community. Hello, I'm Theresa Harding, the Mayor of Ipswich City Council. Uh, welcome to Springfield Central. Uh, certainly in Ipswich we love our sport. We can't be any more excited that we've got the, uh, this, this beautiful Brighton Homes Arena here in Ipswich. But also the fact that we uh, open it with a grand final. It's quite momentous. It's a big thing for our city. Um, Ipswich City Council is the largest financial contributor to this facility and we know that our community are going to love this facility a lot. So today is all about the players and the fans and the community. So go Brisbane Lions! Happy to take a few uh, quick questions. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, any other questions? Who's going to win and how, how much by? Oh my God. Um, well, of course, the Lions, and let's say six. <laughs> We're close, Gabe. Premier, this is obviously 
Oh my God, it's just a huge benefit. And look, I, I don't want to estimate, underestimate here how important women's sport is. When we're talking about equality, um, you know, we now have teams uh, right throughout Australia playing um, a competitive sport. And this is fantastic for, you know, just saw some young girls here today. They're here to see their role models. So this is absolutely fantastic to have the grand final here. And, you know, backs on from the, the men's grand final last time. Apparently, I thought the ticket sold out in 15 minutes. I'm told they actually sold out in five. So a sellout crowd, which is fantastic. And what does that say for women's sport? If you put it on, people will come. This is absolutely fantastic. And I'm so proud that young girls have role models and that young girls and women can play the sports that they love. Yeah, so far so good. I think we've got the largest um, uh, car park to a, straight, to a train station in the Southern Hemisphere. It's a pretty large uh, uh, car park over there, but the commuting's very good. They put on extra train services for this. So, uh, yep, I think it's, and the crowds are moving. You can see them all moving in now too. So I think it's uh, held up very well. Yes. Uh, look, I'll be, I'll be speaking to the police minister and the police commissioner, but can I thank the police for their extraordinary work? Um, absolutely incredible. And I have to be, uh, I cannot say much more at this stage because as we can appreciate, the matter is uh, before the courts. But I do want to put on record my thanks to the police for, for that out outstanding work that led to the arrest. I mean, how quickly do you think the extradition process will take the toys accused? I'm absolutely certain that they are doing everything they can to uh, facilitate that as quickly as possible. I might ask uh, the Minister, but we were going to open it next week. They've brought it forward, so everything must be ready for the opening today for this AFL Grand Final. So we're about to go and inspect it and see. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, certainly the, the stadium itself and the uh, ancillary facilities that are part of this great project that include great community facilities are all complete. As the Premier said, uh, uh, the plan was for the official opening to be uh, next week. Uh, so this, just bringing it a week forward for this extraordinary opportunity to host a uh, uh, AFLW Grand Final is, uh, was the, absolutely the right thing to do. As you can see, there are some, uh, un, not necessarily entirely related to the stadium, but continual important uh, um, uh, in roadworks that are going on. That was a bit of an issue that was, uh, caused an issue of concern, but all the work was done by all agencies working together between uh, the state government agencies and Ipswich City Council to be assured that this was uh, the right decision to have the AFL and host the AFLW Grand Final here today. Yeah, last one. Yeah. Oh, can I congratulate uh, Dan Andrews and uh, the Labor team um, a, a, a third uh, successive victory? And uh, ca can I say this? And uh, this is very clear: uh, the people want a positive plan for the future. Um, they don't want this negativity and you know that's exactly the same here in Queensland people want to see their governments delivering for them and uh, they don't want to see uh, fights and, and accusations uh, made so look I congratulate him um, I, I also commend him on uh, his renewable energy plan as well um, and as you can see uh, people believe in climate change and they want governments to deliver strong action on climate change that creates jobs and that's exactly what we're doing here as well. But a great win and I look forward to seeing uh, Dan in a couple of weeks time at National Cabinet. Premier, do you think Kate Jones would make a good Lord Mayor? Oh that's up to uh, Kate Jones but the last I heard she was very happy um, spending more time with her, her family, um, her husband and two kids but of course uh, that's a decision for her as she's very very competent, very capable and uh, that's a matter for her. What do you think of the way Mark Ryan handled domestic violence survivor Lou Landers' complaints about police? Yeah, um, and I'll finish on this one if that's okay. Yeah, I, I, I understand that, um, look, any issue dealing with domestic and family violence is an important issue. And uh, ministers uh, put in place processes with their departments 
to make sure that, that people are contacted. He addressed this issue at the end of last week and my understanding is that he did refer this matter to police to, to take action. Everybody knows that elective surgery uh, was impacted due to COVID. We also know too we're in this current fourth wave and hopefully we're coming off this wave in time for Christmas, fingers crossed, um, and that impacted. And of course that meant staff weren't at work because they were sick with COVID and don't forget we had the flu as well. So my understanding is that um, uh, we are increasing our numbers of elective surgeries and look, the public understand that. Okay? Thanks everyone, have a great game. Thanks. Thanks all.